I've got Alec, Axel, Lyoto, and Cam uh, Broman in co-founders of Brand Day, the fantastic uh, charity project. Uh, we're going to get to what exactly it's benefiting and how exactly we're raising money. But tell me first, guys, what is branding? People are going to hear this. They're going to want to get involved. Brand Aid Project is a Canadian consumer brand, a new consumer brand mm -hmm. that brings fabulous products from different cultures all over the world to the Canadian consumer. Yeah, and this specifically, mm -hmm. uh, we're, this is for one specific country. Haiti. Exactly. Yes. And so why, first of all, Haiti and why was it important to represent that through different fantastic uh, products? Haiti is, we all know Haiti is a challenging place and Haiti has a very creative population. I think every other person is an artist in Haiti terribly creative society. Yes. They produce beautiful products. Mm -hmm. they, they have difficulty getting their products to global consumers and Brand Aid is a company that helps people get their products in front of global consumers. And Ken, that is a very important point that you make because people will think, they, they think Haiti, they'll think the earthquakes, they'll think right. poverty, they'll think difficulty, but what you guys, both of you are bringing about is the creative, artistic, yes. uh, and also very marketable side to, to the country. Marketable. Last night we debuted a pop-up shop store within a store at uh, the Great Hudson Space store mm -hmm. and we had a fantastic evening. The Minister of International Cooperation came, Minister Paradis. Canadian government has been very supportive of this and has invested in Brand Aid Haiti project. Uh, the pop-up will be in the Bay for 10 days. These fabulous products are for sale. Yeah, let's, let's, let's talk about these products. We've got Axel here. Axel, you are an artist. Yes. Uh, and so tell me a little bit about when you think Haitian art. Like, what, what, what do you want people to think of, first of all, before we actually get to the, to the products? Well, sophistication, which is one word that they would not associate with Haiti. But I think we are sophisticated people with a very deep and vibrant culture. Mm -hmm. You can just see the products there. Well, let's, 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 let's take a look. What do we have here? What we have here are a sampling of many, many fabulous products. These are hand embroidered cushion covers. Wow. They, don't, they don't have any cushions in them at the moment, no. but they <laughs> will have. Then they become cushions. Yes. And these are made by a, um, a cooperative called Peace Quilts. These are groups of women all over Haiti who sew quilts, cushion, cushion covers, and other products. These fabulous products are, believe it or not, made from recycled oil drums. Oh, wow. In, I would never, ever have guessed this, guys. In a village called Croix de Bouquet, which is just north of Port-au-Prince, and it's a village of about three to 400 blacksmiths. Wow. And I'm going to get yelled at by my producers because I moved it and now it won't stand. Yeah, they told me not to move anything. <laughs> I can just You're hear Jeffrey laughing. Okay, what are we... These, these are love, 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 love. These Excel. are Excels, right? Yes. yes. These are inspired by the voodoo religion. Yes. During the commercial break, Excel <laughs> said to me, I can do voodoo. And then I almost ran away and she said, good voodoo, right? <laughs> Nothing bad, Excel. We don't need any Absolutely. courses. Absolutely. So inspired it's by voodoo? Good. Yeah. It's all good. So these are libation bottles that are used in ceremonies to pour offerings on the ground for the spirits. Okay, and then lastly, but not leastly, look at this papier-mâché rooster. Beautiful. This is papier-mâché. It is made from recycled cement bags, brown cement bags. Again, which, which never ever would have guessed it. I would have never guessed that. And it's from a village called Jack Mel on the south coast of Haiti, which has a very famous Mardi Gras carnival celebration. We like a carnival. And the artists, uh, started making the masks about a hundred years ago out of paper mache and they have been repurposed and they've been reskilled to make home decor products such as this wonderful rooster we can't keep them in stock well i mean i think yeah. it's just beautiful i would yeah. I, I love it i think it's gorgeous guys and it's all it's all again to, to raise awareness that you know there's a lot more going on in haiti than we think this is the hudson's bay it's a pop-up it's a pop-up shop happening now for 10 days here in montreal then it goes to ottawa then it goes to toronto to the queen street store and these products are available as a price point for every every shopper. And they're good Christmas gifts. I know, and I've been dying to do this, guys. Thank Done you, just, so, just. thank you so much for joining us, guys. Again, at Hudson's Bay, this is happening now. Thank you for coming to the show. Thank you so much, guys. Stay tuned. Lots more to come. You're watching Breakfast Television only on City. <laughs>